Turkey's been ruled by one man, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. He's a political gambler. Nobody manages to stay in power for 20 years without being extremely good at what they do. He is a genius at reading his country. He's transformed Turkey and won widespread global support. There was large sympathy for him in Brussels, in London, in Washington. They also looked at Turkey and saw a great economic success story, and they wanted part of that as well. Erdogan's party were seen as the best thing since sliced bread. They were Islamist, yet moderate and pro-Western, and that was really unique. Since the 90s, Erdogan's built a base of fiercely loyal supporters at home. Hakkınızı bana helal ediniz. He's the first leader of modern Turkey to stand up to the military. Ama biz partiyi kurarken ne dedik? Cesur olacağız. Tank mı geliyor? Tankın üstüne çıkacağız. Hesap soracağız. Da bu nedir biliyor musunuz? Bu demokrasiye sıkılmış bir kurşundur. In recent years he's seen more and more as a dictator, ordering brutal crackdowns. He's ruthless, and he can ally with anybody. He has no limits. He can tell people to kill people. Diyorlar ki polise talimatı kim verdi? Ben verdim. Ben verdim. Evet. He's still trying to run Turkey through the fact that people either fear him or respect him or both. Erdogan has even threatened the European Union daring to criticize the assault on rights and freedoms in Turkey and his tactics in Syria. İşimiz kolay. Kapıları açarız. 3,6 milyon mülteciyi sizlere göndeririz. Some now fear he will do anything to remain in power. We don't know what Erdogan has hidden in the hat, what kind of rabbit he's going to pull out. He's a master of political surprises. He knows very well how to undermine and defeat his opposition. Erdogan's supremacy over many arms of the state is far greater than any previous government. He's played the same game as his predecessors, but he's played it much better and he's basically cleared the board.